All right, guys, so I want to talk to you guys more about the methanol injection. So there's the throttle body. It's kind of hard to see. I got a lot of wires in the way, but here's my throttle body right here. Uh, basically, the methanol injection. Yeah, there goes my HKS. Uh, the methanol injection is going to go right into this port right here. Let me zoom in there. So it looks a little janky. Like I said, I'm going to have it welded uh, into my intercooler piping once I figure out a better spot for it. Um, so right now, basically, it's not that I drilled anything in there. I took a coupler, and all I did is uh, Snow Performance had a, a little adapter, and it plugs into one of the silicone couplers. So, uh, for example, it's like this, where you have your silicone piece like that, and all it is is a little disc, and it threads in, and it provides a nozzle for that. Now. Personally, do I think that's a good idea? I think it's okay temporarily. I don't think it's a good permanent fix. Um, I think you should have it welded on, which is what it, we will be doing later down the road, probably in the next couple days now that we're getting the settings all fine-tuned and everything seems to be working properly and it's cooperating with the computer system in the car, not throwing any weird check engine lights or anything like that. Um, I have seen people drill into here uh, and they could you could thread it. Um, if you do have a stock intercooler, you can thread it through the pipes, uh, through the stock intercooler, because the piping's a lot thicker um, than my aftermarket intercooler piping. I mean, this is really thin. I don't think I can do a successful tap, and I don't want a potential boost leak. All I did here, it looks really janky for right now, but I, um, I took a gasket sealer, and then I topped it off, let the gasket sealer just sit for about... Uh, about 24 hours or so that I let it sit for and then I topped it off with some JB Weld just to give that double layer of protection. Like I said, it's janky right now, but uh, temporarily it works fine. Um, now that we know that it's working good with a car and cooperating, we're going to go ahead and go uh, with a welded bung. Um, so that's the next step. So the hosing for that uh, nozzle, so you can see it's right here, right here, and it goes down through here um sorry that i can't get a good quality shot here but it goes down through here that threads in um and goes straight down through the whole body of the car and then from my nozzle pump in the trunk um the thing is though is that i did notice and i want to give you guys a fair warning if you're going to do it this way um I did notice that there, obviously that you have your CV axles right here. So you gotta be really careful that you're not getting into any drive line. And I don't know what the temperature uh, rate is on this for breaking down, uh, but I try to avoid the transmission and stuff like that as best as possible, just because I don't know how much temperature this could hold. Now, what I also did is underneath the car, it's pretty straightforward. You could follow the fuel lines that come from your gas tank, which they are right here-ish around this area and uh you can follow those fuel lines too and that's like a cheater way of doing it but it works perfectly fine um like i said just watch the exhaust to make sure that this doesn't get too close to it um i like to give it a couple inches of a distance at least um the other wiring i did was i put it through the panel right now uh it was tucked in nicely and then i took it off to do the video for the bar um so this wiring goes through here uh, there is a hole now granted on most uh, people's cars they're probably not going to have as many gauges as i do which is why i used up this spot but back here um, by the brake booster there is a hole um, that threads straight into your firewall it's actually right behind uh, these fuel lines if you go behind here that's what my amps actually plug the um not plugged in but threaded through is that hole uh, I ended up having to go this way because I just didn't have enough um, like room in that hole. And I didn't want to sit there with a drill and, you know, put that hole, make it even bigger. So then what I also did is I took the boost line that the AEM gauge needs and I threaded it through my AC vent, uh, which these control like your windshield wipers and all the electronics that go from your battery and whatnot into there. Um, I put it through there. Um, I was able to remove the stereo. It was a little extra work. Like I said, you shouldn't have to do that step if you don't have accessories already going over there. Um, the booth, the uh, water meth kit is very, very simple to install. It should be a no-brainer decently. Shouldn't have that big of a problem with it. Um, 
basically all in all it's a pretty straightforward thing um steps are one is making sure there's no leaks that's what you first thing you don't want any leaks at all uh you don't want to drip water anywhere any electronic components anything like that um, so it's pretty straightforward um with am the new kit it already has a check valve built in so you don't need to worry about having a check valve uh, with a new version uh basically you're wiring your pump to from the pump to the the storage tank you got that wired out you're gonna have so a basically it's pretty straightforward you're going to make sure that everything's wired up correctly through your dash that cluster that am cluster that they have that has all the boost stuff super simple to wire in you're gonna to wire two wires to your positive and negative of your battery it has a built-in fuse on that um so you don't need to worry about doing any weird stuff with the fuses and plugging all that stuff in uh if you want to go ahead um so you you wire that in you wire your boost line um to that cluster uh, or that gauge and then once you do that you um wire your or set your hose up for the um methanol injection port set that up uh, route it throughout the car and then um you're gonna have four other wires that go from the gauge or the little uh, controller back to your tank and your pump and what those wires are is that the power flows through that that cluster so you have your power for your negative and positive for your pump you have your low um low fluid warning lamp that you, it's an option you don't have to have that plugged in i like it in plugged in because you know this way i know what's up with the fluid level um and that's the, basically it's really straightforward there's not too much difficulty once you can figure out a good game plan of how you're going to wire all the or route all the wires and route all the hoses and stuff like that it's very straightforward now your mixtures that's a different story and we will get into that in a second um some people run straight water and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that you are still going to see a power benefit don't let people tell you that you're not because you will see 100 percent of power difference with just running water because your temperatures are cooler there's you're, you know you're being safer on top of that you're injecting like a mist it's not like nos though so don't, don't let people think it's like nitrous oxide because it's not it's water um, injection and in california water injection is legal but the methanol is what makes it illegal so this is for off-road purposes only um and so we'll get into the mixes of that currently right now with this setup we are just running water with a little bit of heat h-e-e-t not heat like the temperature but heat like the chemical um what that is is that's 99 percent methanol so it's running a small blend of methanol i'd say about 10 percent um until we figure out where locally we could buy methanol uh, there's a couple of speed shops in California that are in Los Angeles that have methanol, pure methanol, five gallons. Um, it's pretty simple and straightforward. But anyways, we'll get into that in a second. Um, sorry, this isn't the greatest description of the video, but it was already done at the time and we were rushing to get this done. So anyways, other than that, that's uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. I can help you out with the wiring and all that plumbing stuff. Um, but... I will be posting a couple short clips right now on the same video of the chemicals that you could use to get either successful 50-50 or even um, just straight water. Um, and that's pretty straightforward. So I'll be back in a second.